Hi guys, today we're going to be making these Piranha Plant Venus Flytrap Little Shop of Horrors inspired polymer clay earrings. Be sure to pause the video here to gather your materials. Stay to the end of the video to find out if you won the giveaway for our set of eight vinyl stickers. There's a lot of pieces to this project. We're gonna start with our materials. So we've got our clay, I'm using green. I'm gonna turn that lime green with some yellow. Our jar of water, parchment paper, paper towel, acrylic paints. I'm using red, yellow, green, black, white, and a matte finish. Ultra fine red glitter, two eye screws, two jump rings, two French hook earrings, two popsicle sticks, an empty jar with no ridges, tweezers, some pre-made teeth, and if you watch one of my uh, other tutorials, you'll know how to do those, a dotting tool, a smoothing tool, a cutting tool, a blade, different size paint brushes, liquid Sculpey. Now before any of our projects, we like to do our mise en place, and remember that means to get everything ready ahead of time. So what we're gonna need for this project is a sheet of our green, two small grapes, and then I did six of our tapered snakes for our vines. And then I have our pre-made teeth. Now I like to bake my teeth ahead of time. That way they're easy to stick in. Now if you don't have a pasta machine to make your sheet of green clay, that's fine. You can do this with things that you have at home. And you can get an even sheet. So we're gonna take a ball of green clay, a parchment paper, and you're just gonna smush that down. Then you're gonna take popsicle sticks Put those on either side, put parchment paper on top of it, and then I'm just using a glass jar, push that down, and roll it out. And those popsicle sticks on either side are gonna act as a guide, so that once you roll it out, it's an even thickness. So now we wanna take our sheet of clay and cut out our leaves. Now we're gonna do three leaves, but they stay attached to each other. So we'll do one and don't attach at the bottom, two, and three. And you wanna do two of these because you're making two earrings. So now we're gonna give our leaves some texture. So I'm taking my silicone tool. You can take a pen uh, or your dotting tool, take that down the center, and then do our veins of our leaf. Do that down each side, turn it over, and do the back. Do that for both of them. Once you've got the texture in, take that same blade and then just go around the edges and give them a fringe. So you're pulling away from the center, giving those leaves a fringe. Just do that to both pieces. Once those are done, we'll set those aside. Now onto our faces. So for these, you just wanna pick a side, take your blade, shimmy that in, and then wiggle back and forth, and then take your small dotting tool, place that in the side, push in and pull up, massage a little bit. You're making that little smirk. Push in, shimmy around a little bit, and then you can use the larger end of your dotting tool or even go back with your blade and open that mouth. And I'm gonna add teeth. So use your dotting tool and just pierce in where you want those. Take our liquid Sculpey, put that in there, then use those tweezers to put in those teeth. And then I'm gonna take our blade and put some texture around the mouth. Now I also wanna give them a little texture on the bulb. So I'm gonna take my dotting tool and just tap a tap a tap a all the way around, just rotating that head as I'm moving that tool. We should do that to both. Now we wanna figure out our placement. So we already have pre-made our vines, our leaves, and our head. So now we're just gonna stack these. I made three vines for each one. We're gonna be putting in an eye screw at the top, so we wanna make sure that there's not anything obstructing this top part. And when you place your vine and you're happy with where it is, just smoosh it onto that leaf base and smooth it out with your finger and do that with each one. Now that I have my vines where I want them, I'm gonna take my liquid Sculpey, put a dot in the center where I'm gonna be putting the head, take that face. I want the opening of the leaves to be at the top. I'm gonna smush that in there. And then I'm gonna take the vines, kind of wrap up, holding it a little bit, and then curl those however you would like. I'm gonna carefully pick this up, turn it over, try not to squish that mouth, but I wanna smooth on, really press on that leaf to the back. Now I'm gonna make two foil hoops. These are going to help give our earrings some shape when we bake them. So just place them in the hoop, adjust, 
and we'll bake those. I'm gonna bake these according to my clay's instruction. I would say at the thickest, these are about a half inch. Just make sure the temperature on your oven is correct. These are out of the oven and cooled. We're gonna do our black wash. So you just take your Mars black paint, you water down that black, put it everywhere, and then take your paper towel and just wipe it off. But that's gonna get into all those little details. So just do that all over both of them. And don't forget to do the back. Now that our black wash is dry, we're gonna add our paint. Now I just put out some yellow and some green and we can mix those. As we go, I'm gonna put that lightly on my brush, clean some of that off and just go over the top and that's really gonna bring out that green. So put that darker green wherever you like and you can go in with yellow and see how that brightens that up and do that over the entire thing. And make sure you get the back too. Now that we've done our greens, we're gonna take some red, go into those lips and just brush that up and drag it back. You're gonna get a really pretty gradient there. And do that on the top and the bottom. Take some black and go on the inside of the mouth with one of my smaller brushes. Don't worry about getting anything on those teeth. We're gonna go back and paint those white. I wanna go back and add a pop of that red back into that lip. So I'm gonna take that paint. But I wanna add, cause these are gonna be earrings, I wanna add a little bit of sparkle. So I have an ultra fine glitter. So I'm gonna just right in the center top up here and then the center bottom. Stick that into my fine glitter and then just brush off any excess. I'm gonna go and get those teeth bright white again. So just take a smaller brush. You can also use your dotting tool for this and just do that to both. Now I'm just gonna take my paper towel and my matte finish and dab that on. Don't leave any puddles and be sure to do the front and back. We're dabbing so we don't rub any of that color off or that glitter. Now that these are dry, we're gonna turn these into earrings. So we're gonna take our eye screw, go right here in the top, put some pressure on that and twist. Screw that all the way down. Then take your jump ring and your earring hook, put those through the screw that you just placed and then close that. You can use pliers, but it should be okay with your fingers. And then we have our Audrey 2 earrings. And the winner of the giveaway is username my monkey and me contact me on instagram or facebook and we'll see how to get you that eight vinyl sticker set if you like the video be sure to give it a big thumbs up remember to subscribe and ring that notification bell thanks so much can't wait to see what you come up with bye